This is how to use custom styles in Keyboard Layout Editor. First, go to Google Fonts. You can only use Google Fonts and find a font that you like. For this example, I'm going to be using Josephine Sands. Select one of the styles that you like, and if a window doesn't pop out here, click this icon. Now, with the link at the very bottom, go to the web address. You can either click the button, if you have it, or you can copy paste it into your search bar at the top. Where it says Latin, under that, there will be this string of text. Copy that, ignoring this bottom line. Paste it into custom styles, press enter, and then place one of these brackets at the bottom to close off this block. Hit enter again, start a new line, close the tab where you got the information from, and then click import. Afterwards, copy and paste these lines, sometimes it'll be two, sometimes it'll be three, into here. Now there's one more thing that we need to do before we see any changes. What we have to do is either type this or just copy paste it from custom style syntax. This line here. Copy paste it into here. Your font will turn into this. That's fine, that's normal. That means it works and you've done something right. Now what you need to do Type in the name of your font and it should change. Now here's the problem. If you have icons, they'll disappear. Unless they're from the named HTML entities, like the arrow is on this left shift key. To solve this, make sure none of your icons are placed in the same position as a letter or word. Using this part here, you can figure out where your letters are, where your words are, and make it so that you can only have the font in those positions. For me, it's 0, 3, 5, and 6. So following this guy here, what I need to do is get rid of this and go dot key label 0. Just repeat this process for every position that you want the font in. As I'm showing you now. And then your icons will return. That's how to use custom styles and keyboard layout editor.